what's good what's good welcome back to investment trade with jacks hope you're well we're gonna go over xrp quickly we're sitting at 84 cents made another juicy trade with our dollar cost average strategy up 3.4 on the day we're seeing mark cap of 40.61 billion 24 hour volume 2.93 billion ladies and gentlemen if you're new to crypto.com sign up to the world's fastest growing crypto app grab one of the incredible visa cards cashback and crypto free spotify netflix prime travel incentives depending on the level card that you have 25 dollars just for signing up through my referral so i'm going to quickly pop open our discord when we added xrp our entry was here at 0.761 that was right here and we called an exit up here so that was a juicy trade 50 percent exit of about almost nine percent and then we had our re-entry here at 0.787 so what you would do is put your stop loss at 0.787 it rolls over you lock in the rest of the profits and you instantly re-enter the trade so once again we got back into our trade for a juicy profit here called another 50 percent exit for another trade of almost nine percent and then your first entry is where your break even is so you put your stop loss at that first entry and then that's your first buy zone as well so if we were to come down to that entry you break even on the rest of your trade and you instantly re-enter if price continues to push up you still have 50 percent of your trade in xrp and your buy zones will move up so if it rolls over it will hit your buy zones you lock in the rest of those profits and you instantly re-enter your trade with our dollar cost average strategy equal amounts at each buy zone brings your average price down halfway each time so we've broken out of this massive bull flag pattern you can see a little bit of a back test we held the emas and we're continuing to push up here so i have dropped in a little bit of a bounce zone here at 82 cents could definitely bounce off that previous swing high we are overbought with a bearish divergence on the money flow which can be an early indication of a move back down if we look at the hourly time frame for xrp you can see we're already starting to lose strength a little bit but what can happen is you just consolidate create a little bit of a bull pennant here or a bull flag pattern and then you break out once again and that could take you all the way up to that next level of resistance which is our take profit zone which is coming in here at about 0.917 91 cents so we're going to pop over to our next chart which is here on the daily. I've been talking about that rising wedge. We're currently testing the resistance line of the pattern. We are back above the EMAs, beautiful bounce. We've had the bullish cross which can be a massive sign of strength. We're back above the golden ratio. We broke through and we held it as support. Higher likelihood you're coming back up to where you started at 91 cents. You break through that, you hold this support, you target the 1.618 coming in about a dollar 16 so xrp is looking strong hopefully we can invalidate this rising wedge pattern because if it does break down especially if we lose the golden ratio you can come all the way back down to this structural support here coming in about 68 cents and the technical target would be down here at about 63 cents but we're looking really bullish we're back above the ema so what we want to see is we head up to 91 cents we break through we hold it as support if we pop over to our next chart i've been talking about this inverse head and shoulders or you could be seeing this as a bit of a cup and handle not the prettiest pattern but it has broken from the neckline so if we can hold this level of support at 82 cents you could see a huge push up to about a dollar 21 which would be the technical target it could be a little bit of an inverse head and shoulders here left shoulder head right shoulder technical target up here at about 90 oh sorry guys at about a dollar 20 so do keep an eye on that pattern as well could definitely be a juicy breakout as long as we hold 82 cents as support if we look at this chart here which is on the daily i've been talking about this massive symmetrical wedge pattern as well as this symmetrical triangle which we broke out of and we've almost reached the target as you can see here we broke out we back tested as support boom we're heading up towards that target at about 90 cents definitely could find resistance from this level so do keep an eye on that create a little bit of a double top support here support in this area as well so that could be a major major level of resistance for xrp going forward at about 90 cents now if we do see some short-term pullback for xrp i would imagine we come back down to about 82 cents if we lose that level of support that's when we can come all the way back down to our first entry at 0.787 now use your own discretion if you entered at 0.787 and you took 50 percent and you want to put your first buy zone here at 0.824 what you can do is set your stop loss so you lock in the rest of those profits from your first entry and then re-enter equal amounts at each buy zone 500 500 500 if you're low leverage trading don't recommend more than two to three x honestly i've dropped down to two x after this major correction here you have to double your margin 500 500 a thousand two thousand but when you hit your third and fourth buy zone it brings your average price down more than halfway it's all explained in the discord so those are your short-term levels of support here 82 cents and 78 cents 
Now, if we were to break out here of this small little um, bull flag pattern, you would be in a technical target up to this take profit zone at about 91 cents, which lines up with that major level of resistance. Let me quickly pop it back open here. Uh, which chart did I have it? Yeah, right here, 90 cents, 91 cents. Resistance right here, previous level of support and support and resistance in this area as well. If this were to be our true bottom, of course, that's not promised. You can take your Fibonacci from this swing high down to your swing low, and you can see we're currently finding resistance on the 0.5. If you were to get back above the golden ratio and come up and break this high, you would be in a technical target to the 1.618, which would take you up past the previous swing high and could take you all the way up to about $2.30. But as of right now, we are still in this large symmetrical triangle pattern. So I wouldn't get too, too bullish until we come up. We break the golden ratio of 95 cents and we break out of this major trend line of resistance. If we hold it as support, that would be a strong signal. We're going to head back up to this previous high of 135 and quite possibly the 1.618 at about 233 but we have to take it one day at a time and in the short term we have this rising wedge and your levels of support if we do see a bit of rollover here 82 cents in our first buy zone here at 0.787 that's it for xrp shout out to the discord where we have the live trades on the channel for many many altcoin projects as well as buy and take profit zones if you want to start dollar cost averaging into your trades the dca trade strategy fully explained and over 1800 members posting chart patterns talking all things crypto price of a coffee if you want to trade with me sign up to bybit and if you're interested in and if you're interested in keeping up with my personal life my travels currently i'm in accra ghana you can check out my instagram and i will see you in the next video all right much love take care